All right, okay. Hello, everybody. Hi, this is me, Better Swim Charles, because from Easy Markets, and this is a quick video update on the uh, consumer confidence number, which is coming out today. Um, so yes, I'll I'll quickly pick up on that. Just a quick short video, uh, just to let you know what's happening here, uh, what's the expectation. But before we jump into the charts and in general the graphs, um, let's have a quick read through our risk disclaimer. So yes, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendations, and should not be considered as such. This material should not be taken as an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I'll give you a few seconds to read the rest um but um yes ladies and gentlemen like i said uh this is a quick um video just to let you know um look we don't have the most exciting day today in terms of economic data sets um but basically let's uh, have a look um so yes consu cb consumer confidence today expectation for a higher number than the previous okay look Mm, if the number comes out a little bit on the higher side, let's say that's, of course, that's yes, that's great. This might uh, continue supporting the stock market. We could see, you know, a nice push higher, continuation push higher, um, and so on and so on. In general, uh, don't get me wrong. I think that the current positivity around the uh, in, in the market is mainly driven by the fact that we have uh, the expectation for a rate uh cut uh coming up in september some might say maybe two but personally i don't think so uh, i think that we will, we will stick to uh excuse me one cut of uh, uh, in september and then we'll see how it goes um but at the moment look uh coming back to the cb consumer confidence number uh at, at if the number comes out let's say below the forecast um and uh, let's say and above mm, the previous number Still, maybe that could be seen as a bit of a, an itchy, itchy moment, like in terms of uh, a bit of a, a negative moment. I would say, uh, in general, if it, in general, I would say like this: anything that comes out below the forecast, of course, that will be seen as a negative. So uh, maybe this, uh, the, the the traders could take this opportunity to uh, maybe drive the in, some indices back down here a little bit, like Dow, for example, go maybe back down for a little bit of a correction here. Uh, again, not too much. I'm not saying like a for, for a full scale sell off or something. No, no, no. It's just a little retracement before another push high, higher potentially. Because look, uh, the main event this week, of course, will be the um, the Friday's PC, the core and the headline PC numbers, uh, the Fed's favorite inflation metric. So today, uh, given that we don't have much, I mean, it's just like I said, mainly the CB consumer confidence uh Yes, we'll keep an eye on it because in general, if you are uh, not aware what that number is, what that number means, but basically that number measures the level of consumer confidence in, uh, in economic activity. Um, so it's a leading kind of indicator uh, as it can predict consumer spending. So, so that's what I'm saying. So if by any chance we see a drop or let's say, God, for, well, God forbid, you know, but a, dr a drop below the 100 zone, Oh, that could be, like I said, that could lead to a bit of a, um, a, maybe, a, you know, a nice little corrective move lower, not something drastic. Let's say if we look at the technical picture here on the S&P 500, on the futures here that I have, this is, by the way, the futures, not the cash, uh, the 5,600 is uh, a good area of support. So maybe we could see, you know, a number, if the number comes out below uh, below the uh, forecast or even below 100, then yes, a, a drift back down here, back to the 5,600 could be possible. And then we'll wait for other data, you know, to uh, support the upside again. Uh, but long story short, again, uh, let's keep an eye on this one. Uh, some some critics might say that, hey, if the CB consumer confidence come out, comes out actually on the lower side, um, this in a way could push the fed maybe towards uh you know towards two hikes or something like that because maybe you know if the number drops heavily uh you need to boost spending and you know the lower interest rates are the best thing for that for that yes in a way there is there is some logic in that don't get me wrong uh but let's put it this way uh let's wait for the number to come out then we'll see for the uh, wait for the re reaction in the stock market because again don't get me wrong, I've been in this industry for quite a while, and it sometimes doesn't seem as logical as it as it should be. Um, and uh, look, let's 
take it whatever take everything with a pinch of salt uh, if you're looking for some higher levels in general on the in, in the indices then uh, uh well just wait for a clearance of you know of the highs of um of last week or maybe this week even better uh just to be a little bit more on the safe side so that's from the technical perspective so yes uh, keep your eyes on the economic data today uh like i said there is not much uh, the main focus today will be on the CB consumer confidence number. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see if we're going to come out, uh, uh, you know, above or below the forecast. Um, so far, the numbers have been above 100 for quite a while now. Um, apart, unless the adjusted number gets, you know, below. So also something to to keep in mind, by the way, is the adjusted number um if if the previous number will get adjusted so this is something you know try to uh keep an eye on both scenarios and of course uh you know don't rush into anything always as i say uh, always you know stay safe have your stop losses in place risk only which you can afford to lose don't over trade and everything will be fine um just evaluate the data as as much as you can and everything uh everything will be fine just go with the with the market uh, you'll be on the safer side, I, in my opinion. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's like I said, this is a quick uh, video idea on the CB Consumer Confidence, which is coming out today. Uh, yes, uh, keep your eyes on the market today, and I'll see you later for more updates on economic data sets. So, see you later. Bye-bye.